What's up, guys? This is part two here. I don't know why I cannot get out of this. Jeez. So part two of this stream coming up here. So this is the boss battle. Golf Clash Fanatics here. We are calling you guys out. Part two, back nine of the Tommy. Golf Clash Tommy. Boss battle here. So if there are Golf Clash uh, players over here, one of the resources that I wanted to show you that we'll be using today is this Guide for Ultimate Golf app, which is available for both iOS and for app uh, iOS and Android. <clears throat> it is in the store free for both platforms. So Guide for Ult Ultimate Golf is the name, um, and the easiest way for you to get it is to just go download it for free. Um, definitely helps keep your ring adjustments uh, in order. Here you can see is the wind calculator. Up here at the guide section, this is where you're gonna find these guides live. So if you are looking for these guides, they will come into here as soon as I get them uploaded. So they're gonna come into the recent guides. In fact, there's a lot of beginner content here for you guys that I'm really trying to, you know, we're making a hard push here, trying to get new players interested in the game. There's definitely some great stuff for you to check out right there. <clears throat> so without fur further ado here, let's jump in. We are going to get off the tee here, try to focus on keeping the ball in play. You can see direct tailwind, so we're not gonna do anything fancy. Just aim for the center of the fairway. <clears throat> here you can see a lot of slope to the right, so maybe you wanna curl back a little bit to the left if you can, if you have that luxury. Here you can see another tailwind, direct tailwind. So it feels like we're gonna be almost down here towards Max Club. I'm a little worried about this climbing the hill. I might, I might just kind of size this up. This is kind of one of those erratic adjustments where I'll do it here. It says five rings. Maybe I want to land actually up there five rings. So the best way for me to do this is maybe plot play my five rings and then push straight up. Since this is the initial land zone that I want to kind of stay on plane with, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the rings, pull back up the max, and then the hope that it's going to land at least five rings down. As you can see, 514. We're going to try to purposefully land five rings down. Ah, another great shot. So we did do, you know, good to kind of great bought to the right. Here you can see it's just kind of running in. If anything, maybe just a tad bit too hot. Uh, but the great ball is really what calls. So we could have been, you know, very much online. We would have just uh, hit that ultimate shot. So that is the best advice that I have for new players. Try to focus on that. Here you can see I'm going to try to take a little bit of this break out. Very tricky putt here. You don't want to be uh, late with your timing. Very easy to miss these in this game, especially if you try to take out some of that break. As you can see, I did not want to play all of that break. It's just a little, a little too touchy when you do that. If I take out a little bit to where it doesn't speed it up too much, and then definitely go for that perfect release. Any, you know, slight off of that, and definitely potential to miss there. So what we're going to do here for this one, we're just going to kind of aim towards the left of the fairway, keep the adjustment simple, and just kind of go for ultimate shots. We just want to keep the ball in play. Don't, um, you know, for those, if you guys catch part one, um, we did make a mental mistake. We got a little too aggressive on a hole that we didn't need to overpower our drive. So I'm just trying to kind of take a step back, try to eliminate the uh, mistakes. Definitely going to be the ability for you guys to, on a budget, compete and potentially, you know, overtake that Tommy score. Um, so that's kind of what your goal is. Uh, the boss battle, that's the way they're set up. Here you can see we're going to be up towards Max Club. Maybe we use the wind directional arrow. We just, since we're right at Max, we leave it right at Max. And then 7.0 miles per hour, 4.6 it's saying. So if this is 4.6, one thing I might do is I might just pull down here kind of land towards the front of this fairway here as opposed to the alternative. As you can see, the ball guide, it's definitely going to roll out. This might not even be the best shot. We might also want to consider playing it out to the left, maybe with some curl. 
Um, but let's just see how much this rolls out, and you guys can use this for yourself. As that, that's kind of what I was worried is it was still going to roll out too much. So especially if you have early clubs, you may need to play out to the left there. You may even want to use some kind of side spin ball. Trying to land somewhere up here. If you could pick this spot with a lot of left spin. High flight is going to be a very good ball type. So I can't go to the swap screen, but it's called a high flight. It would have allowed you to have a lot of side spin. And you could have aimed here with early clubs and kind of rolled it up to here, even with all that slope. All the side spin, you would have been able to take advantage of that. So let's see if we can get ourselves out of trouble. Um, of course, when you're this close, probably not going to play at all. So you just want to kind of get your alignment. Keep it in mind that there's a lot of missing guide. So you see that I'm putting this ball guide well short. When you, when you have a small adjustment like this, the ball is going to roll out a lot, even with backspin. You got to keep in mind all of that. And we're going to try to try to make this. And still, you can see still beyond the hole. So we have to keep it even shorter than that. Keep all that in mind, uh, you know, ball guide, it's important to understand if you can only see two bounces, you know that there's uh, bounces three, four, five, and still uh, a lot of roll. The way rough iron in this game is going to roll out around the green, it's going to be substantial. Almost no exception to that. So you'll see, you know, eight, ten yards of rollout, pretty standard, um, until you can really start to crank that backspin up to five, six bars. It's really going to be tough to do those. But, you know, that's okay. It's one of those things that you can you know, maybe take my advice and just kind of utilize a high flight. Keep it, you know, towards the left of that green there. Make the putt. Might be the best approach for you guys. And here you can see maybe a little bit driver setup. Maybe El Capitan. Top spin. I don't know which... You know, you know, if you don't have the El Capitan, maybe the driver's the better. If you do have El Capitan, maybe El Capitan. And I'm really not sure with my top spine because same concept here. Early clubs, we're talking about a lot of missing guide. So with that missing guide, let me just renew this. Sorry about this uh, delay, guys. My uh, subscription status is a little bit different. Um, I have to kind of stay in both at once, the free version and the subscription ver version. So here you'll see I'm just getting kicked off um, my subscription. Um, do prefer to play on the subscription, of course. Um, if you do want to utilize free, definitely, uh, you know, more power to you. Definitely something you can do. Um, you know, we wanted to design something that made it easier for guys to play for free. Um, and not have to worry about, you know, spending money in the event that they're on budget or whatnot. Um, so either either option, you know, suitable, whatever fits your game. <clears throat> but uh, what I like to do is I like to utilize a lot of the resources of the free stuff uh, or of the subscription. So that's what you can see kind of in the guide. Now let's see how this rolls out. You can see Great Ball to the left. We probably should have utilized all of our top spin um, and then additionally maybe some overpower hopefully you guys had something like an outlaw i would recommend doing an outlaw for that shot and you know assuming that you have that you could set this outlaw up and you can do a very similar type calculation keep in mind that the you know that false front there is going to really roll off substantially um, so you'll want to factor that in for your shot now here you'll see we're so close. This is so close. I already know this is a no this is a no movement uh, adjustment. Now there's a lot of missing guide here, so I don't really know exactly how much to play. I'm trying to factor in this slope here, I can see it kind of rolling out to the right. Something to the effect of this. Not for ring movement. Keep in mind, this is not. This is so close. It's not going to be ring movement. And you can see it's, it's mostly just slope. But you can see I kept that ball guy just a tad bit too short. Um, so hopefully you guys could, you know, get that ball up onto the green. Very tough with these early uh, bucks. We're going to give this a little bit better, more aggressive approach. 
um, in the rookie division coming up after this. So in the event that you guys want to see some rookie content, it's going to be a lot more evolved clubs than what we're using here. Um, however, for a nice beginner guide, it's, it's important to get the, the guys who might just be starting this game a foundation to be able to use. And here you can see, you know, we're going back to basics. Um, you know, two, three rings. So you're just kind of putting two, three rings kind of in the center of the fairway. Not trying to do too much with the drive. You can already see one specific hole that I did an unforced error. The rest of them have been kind of really tough sloping holes or, uh, you know, definitely some difficult shots in on this setup. Uh, for very, as you can see, the... Uh, the playthrough here, very difficult for somebody who just entered the game. This is not an easy course that I would take lightly um, for early developed clubs. Now, one of the things I want to talk about here is the Nin Club for this club. This is the Raptor. Uh, we'll use the wind directional arrow. We'll go all the way down to max, uh, from max, the farthest distance from max. So we pull this slider all the way down. That emulates Nin Club. And then pulling up, it's saying 4.9 for our ring adjustment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust almost the full bullseye. If you do need ring tutorial, there is ring tutorials for you guys. Um, the easiest place to find them would be in this guide section. There is, uh, you know, a ring uh, masterclass. What are rings? And how can I use them to shoot low? Um, right in that guide section in the top. So definitely designed to keep you guys on a good path um, and get you guys a nice early foundation. And that's what we're gonna also work on as well is trying to just get these buttons. I didn't expect that to roll out. I thought it, I thought there was slope right to left and there was actually slope left to right. So it, I didn't anticipate the way that this ring, I, don't, I really don't even think I've played this course before. So first, first playthrough on this course. Um, what is this course? If you ever want to know what the holes are, just slow roll through here and it'll show you. Sedgefield. I'm not even sure where that is. Sounds like it might be from England or something, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> um... So I'm not sure of the origin. I see a lot of trees. Definitely something you could Google search in the event that you're interesting. That's what's nice about this game that I love. The fact that you get to play real courses. Brings back some of my old Tiger days. I used to really like this game and be able to, you know, play real simulated golf um, versus some of what you guys do on Golf Clash. Both games, you know, definitely have fun factor. Um, definitely, you know, if you, if you guys are thinking about coming over here, definitely worth checking out the rookie stream. We're going to be able to get a lot more aggressive, uh, you know, a lot more precise on a lot of these calculations. For a first playthrough, I would say the difficulty level here, even for me, a uh, very high degree. A very tough course to play on. So first, let's say, you know, so that was to do this and we would go down the max, from max, away at the min line two five so we're gonna try to maybe pull back just slightly here you can see see how it's landing kind of into the green we want it to land maybe just a little bit shorter than that so after the 2.55 rings we go here we're gonna pull straight down just a little bit just to kind of shorten and what do i mean by straight down we're gonna straighten up this blue target we're going to pull straight down the fairway. Just a small adjustment, maybe half a ring. What this is going to do is it's going to make that second bounce land a little bit more towards the front. Got to keep it a little bit shorter, keep it from rolling out too much. And you can see we gave that a good run. Just a little bit more broke, break. I can see a lot of that slope. So we were definitely able to get aggressive. Would have been nice to get that grab, even though uh, I'm pretty sure the target score it be a little bit difficult for us, especially with the early clubs here. So as you can see, club progression is going to be something that you want to focus on in the early stages. Here is hole 15 we're coming up on. Look at this. So barely going to make the fairway here. We're so late in the game, though, that I don't want to... Uh, 
you don't want to try to, you know, utilize the ball because the, we're, we're really not uh, going to be able to go for this score. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go for Max. Hope for an ultimate shot as you can see we're going to get it. Let's see if it makes it to the fairway. Sure enough, it did. So let's just see what this looks like. I'm assuming that we would have had a nice look here. Eagle. 270. Wow. So a nice special ball. Um, if you guys are on a heater, a uh, good ball type for this is going to be a high flight. So what high flight's going to do, it's going to create a lot of spin for us to get really aggressive uh, to get this ball way shooting over to the right. Um, as you can see, I'm not going to get too aggressive. I cannot be early on this timing, so do not release early. Um, I released late. What it's going to do, it's going to push it out to the left, hopefully with the goal of keeping it in the fairway just a hair off. So I wanted to avoid the water foremost. This gives us a nice clean look here. There you can see the max line. One of the things that we'll do here a lot of times is we'll set up like this and we'll pull down and say, you know, maybe this is the 50% point. I think we're gonna pull beyond this. It doesn't, at, at, at mid club, it's, it's gonna roll out little bit less than it will around the green so let's just call this maybe 60 percent 70 percent 65 percent somewhere in there we're just going to kind of play it by feel here not spend too much time on this it's very hard to make it with early clubs let's just say you know for kicks here uh, eight miles per hour 2.54 at 65 percent 65 percent slider Gonna get you a nice, really nice estimate. 254. And of course, going for ultimate shot. The only thing I'm a little questioning is this is it gonna roll out a little bit farther to the right than I'm anticipating. Pretty good overall, just a little bit short. I was being a little bit careful as not to, you know, punch that over the green, but you can see nice checkup with that full headwind. So that is a headwind feature. Um, also some of the upslope, um, but uh, definitely something to, to be thinking about um, is wind direction and how it affects your ball. So this is a nice example of something just kind of shortening that ball guide, um, you know, and really checking it up. Even though we don't have a lot of ball guide to begin with, we only have two, two bounces. Um, you can see it, a lot of checkup. And it doesn't really roll out too much in that scenario. However, with the tailwind, you know, you might get four or five extra yards of run out there. So being able to dissociate between the two is definitely worth, you know, doing. So here you can see we are going to be close to the min line. So I'm just gonna kind of use that with a side wind, um, very close to the 4.0 rings. We might just slightly over adjust because of wind effect. We go 4.1, 4.2, somewhere in that. Close to the min value, like I said. And there's also some additional wind effect and stuff like that. Ah. Overall, not too bad with a very, you know, lackluster ball guide. We gave it a, a nice run. I didn't, I wasn't aware of how much that slope was going to play. As you can see, a little bit under play. The first bout of this course and with uh, going at it with clubs with no guide makes it even that much more difficult. You know, you can see we're guessing a lot here. <clears throat> So same thing, early club. We're just gonna kind of aim over towards the right, not do too much, get the ball in play. Try to do unforced mistakes. You can see there's a lot of room for improvement on my round. I'd say, you know, at least four or five strokes already um, that you could just kind of clean up. Keep in mind, your wins are gonna be identical to what mine are. So fixed wins with this tournament. Here you can see a long iron. We're gonna try to land. Green seems like it's gonna still roll through too much. Min club. This is a very, very difficult, challenging shot. So we're gonna go with this very unorthodox 
We're gonna go down to short iron, maybe some overpower. This is gonna be a really nasty adjustment. Three, five rings at max. That's pretty close to what we're gonna do. Maybe slight underplay. Have some curl, maybe a little bit of curl. Hopefully, you know, by now you have a short iron and you don't have to play nearly as nasty of a shot here as I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to kind of roll it up here, um, try to keep ourselves from unforced error. If you do have a nice short iron unlocked, you're going to be a lot better to utilize, to be able to, uh, you know, kind of make an improvement. But you can see with where I tried to land the ball, and you can see with how it rolls out towards the hole. You can try to get a little bit more aggressive in the event that you do have to kind of just roll it onto the green. You can easily roll the putt in, so that's what you want to focus on. Just kind of walking away with birdie. You see only two birdies on this side, or two pars on this side, and they were really tricky uh, type holes. Let's see what we can do with this last one. As you can see, we're a little bit out of the money. Um, but uh, with that being said, like I said, three free balls. We're getting three free golf balls regardless. Uh, three high flights. Uh, uh, rookie trophies um, both great balls for it this would be a perfect example to use either straight into the headwind, headwind long par 5 if we had those balls we'll use them for next tournament because it's going to be probably the difference between birdie and eagle here so here you can see you know we're going to be a little bit out of our range with a trophy ball we're still able to get onto the green and still get that eagle. So we'd be able to do that on all these holes where we kind of lost our way a little bit and we'd be able to pick up those strokes and potentially win this one. All we're gonna do is get this into the fairway here, get ourselves, hopefully, more sparrow range. There's the max club right there. What is max sparrow? I don't remember. 4.3, 4.2. Keep in mind this ball guide is severely going to, this is one of the short irons, or, or sorry, the wedges are one of the, the most clubs to change ball guide. So what you're gonna see is, even though it's only showing two bounces, and you know, bounces three, four plus rollout would maybe go well beyond the hole, that's not gonna be the case in this instant. Watch how fast this wedge at max club, it's just, it's just one of those things that you just, need to start to memorize focus on and mastering and and if you do follow my content you know i do the best that i can to explain to you guys um, especially in the later stages we can get a little more dissection happening on some of these but let's just see how this plays out we were able to get the ultimate shot watch how much this is going to try to start checking out you can see everything just really condenses down um, we still were able to get semi-aggressive there, potentially get that drop, um, but a lot more difficult to try to uh, play that guide like without the wind. So you always got to be factoring in the wind direction as it's going to substantially change the way that the ball guide. And with wedge there, it's a very significant. Not so much, and why I don't talk about it quite as much, you know, on driver, short iron, it's, it's, it's less, of a, less of a factor. That, that wedge, it has a lot of high arc. It gets affected by wind, um, you know, at a very great deal. So you'll find that it's much more condensed than any of the other clubs. Here you can see a little bit, we came up a little bit short of the Tommy score. Um, I'm not sure, uh, maybe that round is out there for you guys to see as well. If it is, feel free to check that one out. Definitely, you know, as I mentioned, if you are a new player here um, and you want some direction, uh, I'm more than happy to help you know, new, new players find their path. There's gonna be a lot of new content coming in using this Guide for Ultimate Golf app. It uh, uploads right here to where you see uh, my new uh, content created right at the top here. This video, the part one of uh, the rookie rounds we're gonna do, it's gonna all come into these recent guides and embed right at the top. So if you guys are trying to reflect back and improve upon your game, um, do be checking out my content, uh, you know, like, subscribe, um, and I'll do the best that I can to kind of keep you guys on pace. 
So best of luck in your rounds. Hopefully you guys can make some slight tweaks. If you do need some further, uh, you know, adjustment assistance, let me know. Um, and I can be more than happy to work with you. So best of luck out there. See you guys next time. Take care.